what was the routine like what were you what could you do with that thing well um i did all the usual stuff that you do for fun i mean i i literally would pull it out and they I'd pull it out and it faced the crowd middle of the crowd uh and i'd get out and i'd be pulling on the helmet and walk around and look like this you know some sort of big wheel and, and i'd climb in that thing and and uh, the lights would come on and I'd fire them both up. And, and I, I, like I said, I'd pick it up. And the minute I just get it light on again, I'd pull the gear up. And then I'd hover there for a second. The Airwolf's all about, was all about the mystery, the mystique of that. Mm. So I didn't rush in anything and I'd kind of hover for a second. And then I'd slowly turn to the left and do a little dip and back here and, and did that for a minute. And then I'd turn this way and I'd literally crank it into a steep takeoff position and I roll down and accelerate, pull it up and I just do a big ag turn and come back and go and do the bag at the an ag turn the other end in front of the crowd as fast as it would go. And then I do a real steep, like a flat Cuban eight, you know, horizontal eight, real hard banks in front of the crowd. And um, um and then I'd stop and I'd turn around and go backwards and sideways. I don't remember. I just whatever felt That's good at awesome. the time. And I would do a <laughs> <laughs> and I'd for about 10 minutes and, then, and I'd hover again in front of everybody and then pop the wheels, drop it down and then taxi in. So that was kind of the routine and the crowd just went ballistic. They just thought that was, you know, awesome. they'd never seen anybody do that before. And it was really nothing, you know, for you and I, it was fun stuff, but nobody'd seen a helicopter to see Airwolf do it. It was a big deal. Did it have the props uh, on it? Did it have like the uh, chain yeah, guns and the oh, I had, had it? Guns, uh, had it was it kitted it. out. I had it all kitted out. Had it. That's it wouldn't awesome. have been without it. And it flew. You didn't know they were even there. It flew just as well. Um, the funny story about I think it was that very same year when I came and landed and shut down and I get out and of course pulling my helmet off and wave at the crowd. And, um, out of the crowd comes this gentleman with a clipboard and shirt and tie. Uh -oh. And he came walking right to the helicopter with one of the line guys. And uh, all quietly, not the crowd didn't know what was going on, but who do you think that was? Well, it was your, our local FAA air show guy. And he walked up and he was really nice. And he said, hi, he said, I'm whoever from Bisto. Uh, and um, I don't know, he said, all that looked really great. He says, can I see your aerobatic waiver, please? And I said, uh, I, I don't have an aerobatic. <laughs> but, uh, I said, I wouldn't do an aerobatics. And he said, well, he said, they look like aerobatics to me. You were more than 90 degrees and more than 60 degrees and blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, yeah, but I said, this is Airwolf. And, <laughs> and, and, I mean, I, I don't know why I thought that was going to fly. Said, well, said, this is Airwolf. And I, I was just doing it. And he said, well, all right. And then he, he stopped for a minute. He was really nice. Then he looks around for a second. He goes, oh, by the way, where's your end number? And I said, I don't have an end number. It's Airwolf. Airwolf. Once said, again, secret helicopter. Once again, I said, this is Airwolf. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, well, he said, you really need to. He said, when you fly at home, he said, would you put a cardboard in the window, put your end number on this <laughs> I don't know. I got out of that pretty well, but it, uh, that was kind of fun.